I am not real. I exist in the virtual world. I am a mirror image. Hello, Sherlock Holmes, perhaps the greatest detective in English fiction, once said to his friend, Dr. Watson, Watson, you see, but you do not observe. For example, I raise my right hand. What does my image do? I turn left. What does my image do? All of us have seen our own reflection in a mirror, but have we observed the relationship between ourselves and our mirror image? When I raise my right hand, my image raises its left hand. When I turn left, my image turns right. A mirror reverses left and right. If a mirror reverses left and right, why doesn't it reverse top and bottom? This question, and many others, are explored and answered in Ray's Reflections, the Ames Light and Mirror Reflection book for grades four through eight. The activities in Ray's Reflections are organized around a few basic principles of how light travels and how light is reflected from a mirror. The introductory activities, the Pharaoh's Chambers and Rays Around the Corner, explore the path that light follows when reflected from mirror to mirror. What comes to mind when you think of the Great Pyramids of Egypt? Perhaps mystery? An adventure? The passageways and chambers deep inside each pyramid are decorated with beautiful images and hieroglyphics. The absence of soot marks from burning torches raises the question, how did artisans get light into the pyramids to see to work? Perhaps they bounced light from mirrors made of polished metal. On the Pharaoh's Outer Chambers map, students learn how to orient two mirrors so that light from a flashlight reflects off the first mirror to the second to a target. The larger Pharaoh's Inner Chambers map presents students a more difficult problem to solve. On this map, the problem is to position four mirrors so that light reaches the third innermost chamber where lies the feral sarcophagus? As an option, students can add passageways to both the inner and outer chamber maps. To heighten the impact of the activity for students, turn out the lights. Making a periscope is a difficult project for any student. But in the activity, Rays Around the Corner, students find that a periscope when turned on its side, is easy to make. Students cut and glue together this model of a periscope. They place a mirror at this point, this point, and adjust the mirrors until a stand-up figure of Ray placed at this position can be seen from this position. That's all it takes to make a periscope. Students working in groups make two periscope models the familiar zigzag, and the U-turn model. Models from two or more student groups can be connected to make as long a system of mirrors as time and patience allow. What's the relationship between the distance an object is in front of a mirror and the distance the image appears to be behind the mirror? Reflections of Ray is just one of several activities that use different methods to answer this question. In Reflections of Ray, a stand-up ray is placed close to the edge of a vertical mirror. The experimenter's eye is positioned so that just one half of Ray's mirror image can be seen. A second identical stand-up ray is positioned behind the mirror, close to the mirror's edge. This second figure is moved back and forth along the dashed line until its visible half matches the image in the mirror. 
the perpendicular distance of the figure behind the mirror is measured, and compared to the distance, the ray figure is positioned in front of the mirror. Anyone that has ever played a game of pool knows that the law of reflection is the name of the game. In the activity, pool cues and clues, students use a transparent piece of plastic called a reflect view to locate the image of the cue ball. A line drawn from the target pocket to the image locates the spot on the cushion where the cue ball must strike for it to be reflected into the pocket. Students also measure the angles to discover that the angle at which the cue ball strikes the cushion equals the angle at which it is reflected off of the cushion. After much practice, students are challenged to use the reflect view to reflect the cue ball off of one cushion onto a second cushion and into the target pocket. Several other activities use a variety of methods to help students discover and understand that the image of an object appears to be as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of the mirror. <music> students are amazed to discover that hinged mirrors can multiply. How do these lines appear when viewed with a hinged mirror? There is no limit to what students can see in a hinged mirror. By simply placing the mirror on any surface or next to any object and opening and closing it, The mathematical definition of line symmetry says that two points are symmetric with respect to a line if and only if that line is a perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining the two points. For a plane mirror, the line connecting an object and its mirror image is perpendicular to the mirror and the object and image are equidistant from the mirror. In the Mirror Twins activity, the line symmetry of the capital letters of the English alphabet are explored. What you have just seen are only six of the 21 student activities found in Ray's Reflections. Your investment in Ray's Reflections and a set of mirrors will pay dividends year to year every time you introduce your students to the mathematics, science, and wonder found in mirror reflection. For your convenience and economy, mirrors can be ordered directly from the AIM store.